Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Let me guide you how you can easily lock a folder using BitLocker in Windows 11 and Windows 10. So let's go ahead and begin the process. Right click on the start menu and choose disk management. The first step is to create a virtual, dri uh, virtual drive. So go to the action and uh, choose create VHD and from here you have to uh, first choose a location where you want to save it I will be saving it into the desktop. So I will also going to name it with uh, something like uh, test And now click save aside from that you have to mention here the size uh, I think 2GB will be fine for me since I'm just testing it and the hard disk format or the disk size format has to be VHDX because it has the dynamic support it means uh, whenever you insert files by the time it's going to store that much amount of files that you have inserted there on your actual hard drive and aside from VHDX the dynamical expanding will automatically be selected so click OK at the moment it has been created but it do not contain a drive so for that right click in it and choose uh, so sorry first you have to initialize the disk it means you have to activate it first uh, click initialize disk and now uh, choose a partition style that you are comfortable with but I will be using GPT since the PC's uh, partition style is GPT itself. Now click OK. Once it is done you have to right click on it and choose new simple volume. This way you have to create a new volume for that. Go ahead. Um, you can name it also. How about bit locker. Sorry. locker test and now click next and finish okay the drive is created and if I have to visit inside the this PC you will notice that it is available now you have to simply copy uh, the files that you want to basically protect using the BitLocker. For instance, let's go ahead and put these two pictures uh, inside that drive and now paste it and everything is set up and good to go so let's go ahead and lock this drive or this folder the good thing is that it is you can also eject it just right click on it and choose eject but for now i am not going to do that in the first place at all so click on the start menu or open the start menu and search for bitlocker you will notice that uh, manage bitlocker will appear here however you can still access the BitLocker from the uh, settings app in your uh, Windows too. So just search for BitLocker. Still, you will it will uh, appear there. So it's the simplest method. You have to search for it. Now the drive that we are about to lock that is called BitLocker Test. The letter is A. Now click on it and choose Turn on BitLocker. Aside from that, you have to choose any of the options that you are comfortable with. Since my PC do not have a smart card, I will be using a password. So the password for now I will be using 123 or maybe not if it's not selecting that. Okay. The password has to be at least uh, minimum 8 characters. I think yeah. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Hold on a moment. Yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and click next. Okay, that has been the password is okay. Now you have to save this recovery key. Uh, remember, if you forgot your password, you will not be able to recover it with, with any software, those files, unless you have the recovery key. My opinion is that you have to save the recovery key into an online cloud storage that you are using it on the daily basis. Um, this way it will remain there however you can also insert it into your USB or mail it into another Gmail uh, another mail of yours and other stuff it is up to you where you want to save it for now I'll be saving it to the desktop click save and now next and encrypt the entire disk and next okay and now new encryption mode okay that's totally fine and now click next and choose start encrypting so as you can see the drive has been encrypted and you will see that the a lock the lock folder is appeared there so as i said earlier that you can eject these two just right click in it and choose eject the device sorry the vhd has been ejected from the computer however if you want to open it uh, open the location where you saved it 
and then you have to double click on it go to this pc you will notice that it has appeared however it has a password of bitlocker you have to double click on it enter the password okay and now click unlock as you can see everything is good to go this is how you can uh, lock any folder in a windows 11 so as you can see it is not a direct approach but it is an indirect approach and it is quite helpful this way you won't have to use any third party application to lock your sensitive files information or any other data that you have on your computer so please do keep in mind that this is a very handy feature aside from that uh, there is no risk involving using this method and i hope you have liked this tutorial so by the way do not forget to subscribe the channel have a nice day goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video